Hey there, uh, this is William Lederer, uh, Executive Director at the Chocolate Church Art Center. It's a pleasure to welcome you to this final episode of our series, Art for Good. Uh, this is a series in which we have spent time with artists and organizations who share our belief that the arts are one of the best ways that we can make the world a better place. So I'd like to just start out, as always, by thanking David Matero Architecture for sponsoring the series and thanking all of our donors, members, volunteers, uh, sponsors, everyone who, who helps us do what we do. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, so in this final episode, um, I got the chance to hang out with Amanda and Rob Duquette, as well as a very special guest from Music and Magic. Uh, now, Music and Magic is an organization that uh, does a lot of different things, uh, everything from getting musical instruments for kids to providing arts education and music performances for kids. It's it's, it's amazing what they do. It's, it's really so cool. So as you're watching, um, if you are able to uh, make a donation either to the Chocolate Church Arts Center, to Music and Magic, or to both organizations, uh, we would so appreciate it. All that information is going to be in the description of the video. Amanda and Rob were also kind enough to share their spring concert that they did, which we will share in a separate video. Um, if you have little ones in your life, uh, this is an amazing show for kids. They are going to love it, I can guarantee you. And hey, you know, even adults will like it as well. It's, it's a fantastic show. Thanks again for tuning in. It's been so much fun making this series. Um, you can see all of the videos that we've done on our YouTube channel. So for the final time, uh, thanks for tuning in and welcome to uh, this final episode of Art for Good with Music and Magic. So, so patience, when I do that part, you can sing along with me, okay? Okay. Brush every day. Brush every day. Okay, got it. Keep the cavities away. Brush everyone. I mean everyone, like you don't want to miss any. Not like everyone. You don't have a lot of teeth. I do? Yeah. Think so? Yeah. I don't have so many teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen you up close. Oh, hey, William. Hey, hey Rob. Hey, patience. How you guys doing? We're good. Thanks for joining us today. Hi. Yeah, absolutely. I like that song you're working on. What's what's that one called? Oh, that's uh, that's an old uh, favorite. That's a song I wrote a long time ago called "Brush Every Day." Oh, nice. What's that one about? Rob likes to teach kids to brush their teeth. Oh yeah, that's very important. How are mine looking? Pretty good. Mm, nice, nice work. Nice yeah, work. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, thanks for being here with us. Uh, this is uh, Rob and Patience from uh, from Music and Magic and Kind Kids Music. We are so glad that you're here with us. Um, so, Patience, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Oh, I would love that. All right. The first thing I want to ask you is, why is music so important, especially for kids? And what is it that makes it such an important teaching tool for kids? Mm. That's a really good question, William. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Kids love music. We help kids learn things like how to be kind and to keep themselves healthy and strong. Huh, Rob? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And music, kids love to sing. Do you like to sing, William? I do like to sing. I don't think I'm very good at it, but maybe you could help me get better. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah. love teaching kids stuff about music. Yeah. Well, from what I hear, you're pretty good at it. Yeah, she inspires us all, I think, a little bit. Don't yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I think there's also something about music being so universal, no, no matter how old you are or how, how young you are, you see babies really react to yeah. sound. So melody, rhythm, uh, harmony. It's something that we all sort of react to. It's almost like uh, our bodies react to it before our minds do something. It's know? like it's like magic. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was going to ask you, is that where you got the name from? <laughs> well, actually, Amanda will probably want to tell you about how she started music and magic. You know, she's oh, yeah, the creatress she... of that. But William, I have a question for you. Yeah, patience. What can I? Uh, what can I tell you? So you work at the Chocolate Church, mm -hmm. right? It's a wonderful venue. Is, is it yummy? I have to tell you, Patience, it's not, unfortunately. We do sometimes have chocolate inside the building, but the building itself is not made of chocolate. But you're not the first person to ask me that. A lot of people ask me that. I oh. thought I thought kids and, and people like me might like to wonder if, if it was made out of chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> it sure looks like it. <laughs> 
I think if we made a chocolate, it might not be there anymore. Mm. If people True. just keep taking bites out of it. Yeah. Oh, does that melt it? Oh, my God. Oh, that's true. You know what? <laughs> I, I think I'm going to go get some chocolate now. It okay. was nice to meet you, William. It was nice to meet you, Paige. Have fun. <laughs> see you later. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. We'll, put, we'll work on that song some more. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love that. Bye. So while she's grabbing, uh, while she's grabbing Amanda, uh, Rob, maybe you can tell us a bit about your uh, your musical adventures up until this point, and then we can go from there, and we can talk about music and magic and what the two of you do together. Yeah, well, well, let's see. Uh, I I've been a music music educator and a mu musician for for a bunch of years. I guess I started professionally in the '80s, and then uh, full time in the '90s, and uh, you know, touring around and doing all that fun stuff. Played with a uh, one of my heroes was uh, played with Jonathan Edwards for several years and um, David Amram, who was another favorite of mine, composer uh, from New York City. And, um, and then I, I uh, at some point, I just finally focused on my own music. Um, and, you know, at one point, I found myself writing songs that uh, didn't seem to fit with uh, with my grown up, grown up music, you know. Uh, and uh, so I, uh, I started doing the kids thing and, and um, it just I fell naturally into it. You know, this is maybe seven years ago. Would that be right? Maybe seven years ago. So I started kind of doing this dual, okay, musician, music educator, in, you know, teaching in college and teaching privately and then uh, doing gigs, getting on planes and doing shows. And, and then all of a sudden I'm doing this kids thing too simultaneously. And um, I think at one point somebody asked like, how can you write for both? And um, I just, it was just very natural. Like that song in the beginning, Brush Every Day. I started just singing that at a show. And um, it's pretty obvious to me that that's not really a song that I'm going to put out as a Duquette song sure. You know, sure. like for grown-up audiences, you know. So, yeah. so it became pretty obvious that, you know, they, they were both something that I wanted to, um, you know, express. And, and That's very cool. It's cool to yeah. catch up with them, marry the both, and then, you know, let them have, yeah. let them have it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and welcome, Amanda. I see Patience found you. She even got herself into some chocolate. I think you made her hungry. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's it's not too early. It's yeah, it's almost lunchtime, right? So, Amanda, tell us a bit about um, music and magic, how it was born, and and some of the stuff that that you guys do together under that name. Yeah. So, um, music and magic. Back in two thousand nine, um, we lost a really good friend of ours. Um, he was a, a magical musician by the name of Van Lawton. Um, and after he passed, we wanted to find a way to keep his music and his magic alive. Um, one of the things he always talked about was being a young musician and not having access to instruments. So, um, so we just sort of on a whim started asking folks if they would donate um, instruments that they weren't using anymore. And we tried to see if we could match them up with uh, kids who wanted to play. And so since 2009, I think we've served over 145 um, families and wow. organizations as well. Um, and it's a very word of mouth um, kind of organization. So folks just, they find me <laughs> um, and they know that, that, you know, I'm the one to go to if you've got a, an old guitar, you know, that you're not playing anymore. Um, People just know you're there. Yeah, and then and then um, and then folks will nominate um, kids and families to receive instruments. So sometimes it comes from a music teacher who notices a kid, you know, that could could really use the instrument at home. Um, sometimes it's parents or family members or social workers, counselors, um, and sometimes a kid has actually reached out to me themselves <laughs> and asked if, asked if they could get on the list. Yeah, so um, so yeah, it's been incredibly rewarding to be able to. Um, to just sort of make those matches of instruments that need to get played and kids that want to play them. And during this yeah. pandemic, it's been, um, you know, we haven't stopped um, with the gifting of instruments. It's been almost even more important during this time. Um, I think we've given away two keyboards, uh, three ukuleles. Uh, we put together some, uh, some toddler packs of like That's musical cool. instruments for, for little, little kids. Um, we've given those away and then, um, guitar on the way, guitar on the way this week. Um, <laughs> we did a, yeah, a bass and an amp. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. the biggest thing that we got to do this, um, this holiday oh, yeah, season yeah. was we got to give a brand new drum set. To oh, wow. Music. Yeah. So we had help from the drum shop in Portland. Yeah. Nice. Um, yep. And, um, and, uh, yeah, this, this child, uh, music teacher, 
uh, nominated her and I got in touch with the mom and, you know, made sure that there was support and that it was okay. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, right. You want to clear that with the parents for sure. <laughs> it was especially neat for, for me because, uh, you know, the, the parents filmed her seeing it for the first time and she screamed. Oh, wow. She saw the drum set, she screamed. She's like, oh, it's so great. It was so <laughs> exciting. I brought the drummer, so that was kind yeah. of that was That's incredible. Uh, it's yeah. so cool. So you mentioned that you have been able to continue doing that through the, the pandemic. How how has this past year affected some of the other things you do? I mean, I know you usually play a ton of shows and all that kind of stuff. How is, what's, what's that been like and how have you found uh, maybe other things that you can do during the pandemic? That's yeah, really it's, been, it's been pretty tough uh, mm. not being able to do any gigs. And, you know, like Rob mentioned, we have the Duquette, Duquette and Dancer, which is us, um, you know, for, for our adult audiences. But um, and then we have our kids stuff that we're usually doing at libraries and schools, fairs, festivals, venues, theaters. Um, and so we haven't been able to, to mm. connect with with kids in that way, live anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, we, we see kids who are like, oh, kids. <laughs> <laughs> we were able to, we, we've been trying to do some, you know, some Facebook live and that sort of stuff. Um, but where we found a lot of success was with um, this educational app called Zigazoo. Um, and it was, that was created by a couple of friends of mine who I actually um, taught their kids music <laughs> and their mom nice. uh, played with me. Mm -hmm. so, um, so they asked me to run the music channel. And so we've been running the music channel on Zigazoo where we ask kids things like, what does it mean to be kind? Or, you know, what do you do just for joy? Mm -hmm. And we matched that up with some of our songs um, and, and our puppets. This month is patience, isn't it? This month? Last month was patience. Last this month. month is kindness. Okay. And then the kids, the cool thing about that app is that the kids respond to our prompts with their own little videos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so we get to watch kids, you know, respond to us about what, what you know their answers to our questions are and so that has been really fun we've mm. got we've we're got a lot a lot of growth happening with that yeah. um, that's that. awesome so that's yeah. been pretty exciting and then we just got onto a new platform called xotv um which is kind of a brand new thing um as kind kids music so we're putting out our we're putting out our concerts on that too and you know fingers crossed we get to we get to do venues again yeah <laughs> like <it's laughs> Fingers crossed here as well. <laughs> I hope so. But you know, we're very yeah. grateful we can still do what we do and still have a home. And, yeah. You know, yeah. We got a little studio in our home, luckily, that we sort of converted one of our bedrooms into a into a studio room. So we've got the drum set and the curtain and the puppets and all this, and um, we've been able to perform for uh, for you guys as you can and dancer. Um, oh, and fantastic. With, yeah, we did um, uh, Club Passim. Club Passim yeah. was another one that we were able to do. That was really fun. Yeah. But you know, the, the Chocolate Church is, is kind of special to us. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the first time we actually collaborated together because we, oh, no, we yeah. knew each other for a while. And it was a couple of years ago. It was very ago. obvious that we, we had a lot of things in common. Uh, you know, I was very into dance, uh, not dancing myself, but enjoying the dancing. You and dance, I, I do dance, but. <laughs> um, that, that's not for public consumption. But, uh, <laughs> I like to move my body, but it's not pretty. But uh, anyways, um, and, and then, you know, both of us having this background with, you know, kids music, you know, so, but that was the first time where we were, okay, let's, let's come together. We'll do a kid's show together. And that's the first time we had done that. Yeah, that and so that was it was almost an experiment and it was wonderful. It was yeah. just, both of us were just almost laughing the whole time. Yeah, it was great. And that, not that, also, that was the first time we did Duquette and Dancer. Yeah. So, we so kind kids, that. so kind kids music and Duquette and Dancer. We had our first collaborations live at the Chocolate Church yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, and so I yeah. think that was before you came on, William. So, but like th th those, you know, we have those. Um, you know, it's kind of like the birth of of our collaborations. Um, both happened yeah. at Chocolate Church. Yeah. So. Uh, it was almost. Uh, it was almost like when I started, I was explaining about when I started doing kids music, it was just natural. Like one summer, I'm like, you know what, I'll do a couple shows, you know, see what happens. And it was uh, my friends at some libraries, Bitterford, I think, Sacco, and maybe Kenny Bunk, and, and uh, three shows. And then that next summer, I, I did maybe 20 or 30 or something, you know. So, like, it naturally, it wasn't anything that we thought about. It was just... Right. When we started collaborating together, it was, it, it was, we didn't think about it. It was just, kind of, okay, well, that, well, that was... It that was a no-brainer. <laughs> yeah. you know? well, I'm so. so glad we were able to, uh, you know, play a, whatever role we may have in that in that part. Yeah. Seems like it's working pretty well. 
yeah, yeah. yeah we're grateful. that's fantastic well we'll um obviously send me links to everything we'll put them in all of the descriptions and everything we'll, we'll. so i understand that you've put together a spring concert as uh kind kids kind, excuse me kind kids music uh and you've been kind enough to share that with us uh do you want to set that up for us and then we'll uh we'll jump over to that sure yeah so we um we just put together some of our favorite spring songs yep. um we did we in this pandemic time we actually wrote a couple of new songs mm -hmm. yep. um there's a lullaby in there that yep. we came up with and um a song about um it's going to be all right because you know it is going to be all right mm -hmm. <laughs> um and so yeah and we've got some puppet friends in the in the concert we've got uh, patience i think kind pup makes an appearance Curious Kitty, Muffy, and, and I think Funny Bunny is in there too, right? With so. carrots, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we hope you enjoy the, the show. You can find us, we, we're on all of the social media, so we have Facebook and Instagram, um, and we are, Music and Magic is our umbrella, um, but we have, our projects are Kind Kids Music, Duquette and Dancer, and we didn't mention um, Duquette oh. Family Band, yeah. which is Rob and his two kids, Luke and Stella, yeah. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you for introducing me to Patience. She's wonderful. You yeah. are so welcome. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing, William. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. We know how hard you're working and, yeah. and we really appreciate it. That's been a pleasure. That's kind of you. Thanks. Yeah, yeah we look forward to doing a live show soon. Yeah, Can't wait. Those will be wonderful days. <laughs> and, and I hope I hope Patience saves some chocolate. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll send you my address. You can bring it over. That would be okay, great. <laughs> All right. Thanks, thanks Rob. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.